on Bill. When your mate makes a living as a hoe, it may be time to go. It sucks for a living, and I love it. She puts the hoe in horrible life. Well, well, you're you're not, not, you're... My fiance does gay porn, and I want him to stop. But I'm not gay. How you are can... you not gay when you have sex with My wife has a bunch of sugar dad. And if this is what you want to do for money, you go right ahead, because I'm going to do like this right now. Thanks for watching. It's hard enough to maintain a relationship in the best of times, but when your mate makes a living as a hoe, it may be time to go. Wow. Take a look at this. My name is Hollywood, and I'm a legal prostitute. I have sex for a living, and I love it. And welcome to my room. It's a little bit of glitz and a little bit of glamour. I get to dress up, party, and make men's fantasies come true. Every day is a new adventure and a new opportunity to turn men on. The money is great, and the best part is I get to have sex all the time. Unfortunately, my husband doesn't understand how much this really means to me. Today's the day. He needs to accept my profession or I'm gone. Please welcome James to the show. James, how you doing? Hi, Bill. How are you? I don't mean to show you disrespect by calling your wife a hoe, but that's what you call her, correct? Um, for lack of a better word, yes. When you take a look at that tape, you're married to this woman. She's having sex all day with different guys. How does that make you feel? Right now, actually, she puts uh, the hoe in horrible wife, uh, you know, and I just, I can't believe that she's doing this. I knew what she did before we met. And she, but I'd never thought she'd go back to it. And so you two have a business, so you knew when you married her and put the ring on the finger, you knew at that point that she was a prostitute. Bill, when I met her, she was a telemarketer. I mean, and... What was she marketing? Uh, <laughs> she's a telemarketer, and, and I, I don't think this is funny at all because, I mean, this is a serious subject for me. I'm here to tell her right now that basically money is not more important than our family. It's not important, more important than our marriage or our child. When I hey. met... You have a two-year-old son. Yes, we do. And I, I don't want him to grow up knowing what she did at some point. And, um, and we have a family, and I can't even tell my family what she does for a living. So, so you, you feel like Mr. Mom in this relationship. I am Mr. Mom. I didn't sign on to be a single parent. I mean, she's gone for three weeks at a time, sometimes two weeks at a time. And I'm, I'm not having sex while, while she's gone. And she's having sex and enjoying herself. She's telling me about clients that she's gone to different places that I've taken her to. So the intimacy in your relationship as a husband with a wife is often, you call it pity sex? Well... What do you mean? After, after a two or three week sexcapade all over the country, she's coming back to you and she, knew, she wants a day off. Right, Bill. I mean, she's gone, like I said, for three weeks at a time. When she does come home, what she's focused on is just relaxing. She comes home like she's on vacation. She doesn't help around the house. She doesn't help take care of our child. And like I said, again, I love her. And when, when I want to make love to her, I want to be with her. I want to be intimate. And that's the last thing she wants to do, you know? And so some of the things that she doesn't wear, you know, makeup. She doesn't basically get dressed up for me, wear high heels. Even though I still love her, it's a, in spite of all she's of that. She's in sweats all day. She's in sweats all day. And like, I'm going, you dress up for your clients. Why can't you dress up for me? And she'll tell me like stories about how she went, they took her shopping, you know, they went to Vegas and she's wearing this outfit, that outfit, you know. You don't want to hear this. No, I don't. And like, what I love about her is she's so honest and transparent. She'll tell you anything. You ask her any question, she'll say, if you want the truth, she'll give you the truth. Does your family knows what she, what she's doing? When you get together no, Thanksgiving, Christmas, 4th of July. She's not there for Thanksgiving. They're gone. She's, she's with clients. So, and the two-year-old boy neglecting well, what do you say hey my you know my wife's not here she's uh what what do you say he's really too young right now to, to really grasp the severity of this and that's a good thing and so that's why i'm really trying to get her out of this right now she needs to get out you say absolutely because when that kid is seven eight nine right. ten you know he's gonna have to know like your mom was a legal prostitute you know and how do you explain that to him and the money won't be worth it at that point no and she's valuing money more than our relationship Please welcome James' wife, Holly, to the show. Holly, come on out. Well, you are. You're not, you're not there for us. 
You're not there for me. You're not I'm there, there for, for you our emotionally. son. Emotionally, I'm there for you. Spiritually, I'm definitely. Okay. How about sexually? How about sexually? Okay. I need a day off. I work 24 hours a day, two, three, okay. four weeks well, at a time. Well, we talked about this before, and I don't know why. Basically, you don't see my perspective on this. I mean, at the end of the day, you I need you to. You can just sit at home and do whatever you want to do. Yes, no, you have to run the I, business and take no, care of our son, but you can go and out I think to you eat. Just you can hang out. out with friends. You tapped out on I our relationship. You tapped out on our son, and that's the truth about this. How did I do? No, I'm providing for family. But when you're gone for two and three weeks. Who's caring for your two-year-old son? I am. I am. All right, and when you come back, you're so tired from all your activities, you can't be a wife to your husband, you no, can't be a mother to your true. son. I that's, take that's him out. True. We have, you know, we go to like pumpkin patches. We just went to the pumpkin patch twice last that week. That one of my, one of the, the, the. <laughs> so, I take my son out. I take him out to, you know, I hang out with him. I get up with him in the morning. You're but too, you don't need the money. You're too focused on our clients, and that's your clients. We need the money because this we is a successful businessman. It is, and, and the business is successful, but we still don't have the college. Are you sure? It's more about money. Are you it sure is? it's no, about I, the excitement? I, I, about I, I the sex with a bunch of men? I love the sex with a bunch of After he lost the baby weight, the bunch, the baby you know, weight I love the sex and she started working out, I think that basically she clients. she likes all the all them. the attention that she's getting from these guys, and that's what I think it is. I think it has something to do with the money, but I think it has more to do with the attention that they're getting. Tell her how much is hurting, because I'd also make this point: What if he was a male prostitute having sex with hundreds of women and it's, came it's, home to it's you? It's just about the money. I wish I could. Can I get hired as one guy? I would, to, it's not legal. I would love to. What do, I'm doing is legal work. You're not. Like, you're not like home. It. You're not there. When you come home, we talk about this all the time. Even last night, what happened last night? You were too tired. You we said, traveled. I've had. Eight you hours were too of tired. Sleep in three days. And like we I had said, I would. When we were dating, we were recording. What was it I like? I could have anytime I wanted it, whenever I wanted it. Now what? Do, what? What is your marital relationships like now with James? As a wife. To a husband. She doesn't even enjoy. I don't even think it's, she enjoys having sex. It's with like you. I do enjoy I having sex with you. It's just that again, I'm tired. I work around the clock. I'm constantly on the go. I you don't, don't have, have to break. do what you're doing right now, and I've told you that. You okay, can get, but you want to buy a home. She wants to go traveling. He wants to see she the world. She doesn't want to nine to five. She wants to go to a restaurant. She could be. So we have a business together. If you don't like it, you can go. I don't have a gun held to your head. Really? I don't have a gun held to your head. What about your child? Okay. We can co-parent. You're walk away from your husband for sex with men for money and walk away from your son. I'm walking away from my son. I'm still going to provide. He's likely to get custody. Not physically. No, it's California. And you're not even emotionally there. And you're not he even sexually there. He won't get full either. custody. He won't get full custody. Well, so he wouldn't. Doing what you're doing, maybe I will. No, you won't, because I still so, provide financially. Do you understand, Holly? If you leave either. your son for weeks at a time, weeks, the day-to-day -day activities that moms have with children is irreplaceable. It's not like a He's helicopter too. mom just coming in. I'm not doing in. this for the rest of my life. I'm How much longer? How much life? longer? I don't years. want to do it. I, I thought she might do this for a month or two. Now no, she's, she's exactly so what excited about what she does. And you enjoy she's the talking money about, just hey, as much as we're I do. going you here, we're doing this. You enjoy the money just as much as do I do. And you help spend it, too. Do you enjoy the money she brings in? You help spend it? Answer the question. The purpose of you doing what you're doing was to further Do you enjoy the money? for college, to pay for... I mean, Obviously. the bottom line is this, is that, yes, I mean, but I'm not basically, what I'm not doing is we're not living any more extravagantly than we did before. Hollywood, let me ask and, you this. And I don't see it that often anymore. When you come home and talk to your husband about all the good sex you had with your clients, he and asks talk about, about the food it. that you ate, the wine that you drank, all the travel, it upsets him. But he asks about it. And I'm just trying it. to connect. Well, I'm going like, so just, just to like your wife would ask you, how was my your wife, work? My wife's how's a judge. Work? I, my wife's a judge, and she'll come home and I talk too. about legal cases. I don't, really I don't talk her. about porn and panties. I don't talk about marital aids. I don't talk about that stuff. Okay, but if he asks she's about too, she's way too focused. You knew what I did before you married me. What they're going to do. You knew what I did before you married me, so it doesn't matter. So now you're trying to change the rules and the middle of the game, and it's not going to happen. I didn't think that you going to go back to that lifestyle. I did not know that you were going to do this. I thought when you, you know, I, I, I wanted to support you. I always have. But I did not know you were going to do this me for... Now. Just know that I'm going to do He can't support you having sex with a bunch of men. But he, he can't knew support what I was that. Doing when no. he what he if he's having sex with a bunch of women when you're and I, and I need to. Like, what am I supposed to do for three weeks? And like, I, we talked about it, and she's like, you know, well, just wait for me. What, what do people do in the military? Like, I, well, they're serving their country. You're not serving our country. I'm serving the men in here, in this country. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay.
So you see this as a terminal matter unless she changes. Like I said, she puts the hoe in horrible wife. And also not I don't like that. And I like I said, I don't like calling her I'm that. Providing but for the she family. really is enjoying this way us a more. Future. I'm giving us a better future. Hollywood, you're getting an ultimatum and you're not receiving it. She's no. not. I'm I'm not leaving. I love what I do. I'm not leaving. I'm not done there. You might lose your husband and half of your child or you all of your child if you don't change. I'm not going to lose custody of my child. Jane's got I a big decision to make. Him. There's more sex secrets coming up in scandals. Stay right there. I'm not quitting what I'm doing. I'm not leaving. I told him I need a couple years. I want to do a college fund for our son. I want to be able to buy a house. I don't want us to be living check to check or wondering how we're going to pay this off. We need a retirement fund. You know, like we need money in the bank. He's older than I am. I'm a bit younger, and I want to make sure that we're financially set. And if he's not prepared for that, then he's he can go find somebody else. <laughs> Gay for pay. I'm not. You know, in today's show, we're dealing with relationships that may or may not survive. They're made shocking sexcapades. Please welcome Brooklyn to the show. Brooklyn, how you doing? I'm doing good today. How about Hi, you? Brooklyn. Why are you here today? I'm here today because my fiancé does gay porn and I want him to stop. It is ruining our, our relationship. All right. The, your fiancé is into gay porn. What does that mean? I mean, when... He does gay porn. He does gay porn. Yes. Meaning he's a straight guy... He's a straight guy and he does gay porn. ...acting in gay porn. Yes. When did you find this out? I found this out about... I would say about four months ago. What happened? He had lied to me the entire time he had told me that he was just a model and I found out that when we were in the shower together I had mentioned something because he said that he likes to shave or nair his genital regions for his modeling and I said who does that for modeling and I had mentioned who needs to do that and he told me that he does gay porn all right and this is the man that you love so you're telling me he is straight, and but he does gay porn. He gay porn. Well, can a man be straight that does gay That's porn? He, so he's straight, but he has sex with men. Yes, and but he, he doesn't enjoy it. He doesn't. Apparently, he doesn't enjoy it, but it really upsets me. Like, who does that? Who says that? Do you believe that he is straight, or do you believe that he's Sometimes gay? Sometimes I really have my worries. Now, you also have, I think, unprotected sex yourself with him? Yes, we do. Why, why would you do that? You know, because at first I had no idea what it was that he did. He told me he was a model. He lied to me about it. And we were having unprotected sex. I wanted to use condoms, but he said, you know, I get tested all the time. And you found an STD form that he had to fill out in the gay porn industry to yes. To allow him to be I found an email and I had mentioned it to him about STD testing. Would you rather have him have sex with women than gay porn or you rather Honestly, have neither? Honestly, with the jealousy factor, I wouldn't want him to have sex with women. I just don't want him to have sex with other people at all. This is not acceptable. And you've communicated this to I him? I have told him this. I told him in the beginning when he told me that this was not okay. He knew I was upset. He knew that I was going to want to leave him. He lied to me. He manipulated me into this. And you're hurt by this, aren't I you? I am hurt. Because? Because he lied about it. And he has sex with other people. I do not have sex with other people. I am faithful. I stay at home when he's gone. I do the chores. I go to work constantly, every single day. I do the day-to-day -day job. And he gets to go out and make a couple thousand dollars having sex with other men. Like, is it really worth it? Let's find out. Please welcome Brooklyn's fiance, Owen, to the show. Owen, come on out. What I need for you to understand is that I'm not gay. How you can... are you not gay when you have sex with other men? Do you have uh, oral sex with men? Yes, I do. And I do a lot of things to keep my paycheck going. But I also use Viagra I when I do it. I things when I have my paychecks. I go to work every single okay. day. Why do you have to go and have sex with other men? Because There's I may... plenty of other jobs you can go and do. Uh, not to make thousands of dollars uh, yes, at a time. Yes, you could. No, yes, I couldn't. Yes, you could. I make more than any average person in a month by me just going on one trip. Dude. 
One trip. One trip. I make more than you and everybody else that does oh, a so normal job. Oh, your job is more important than mine? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just telling you that I make thousands of dollars every trip, free trip. And is that worth our relationship? How'd you go from nude modeling to gay porn? How, tell me that journey. How'd you first get into nude modeling? How'd that go on? Well, I found everything on Craigslist. That's how I got all my work. You know, I wouldn't recommend women doing that because it's a little more risky. But for the men... A little more risky? It's the same risk. So you went from gay so. modeling to gay porn. Are you bisexual? No, I am not. You don't enjoy it at all. I don't enjoy anything of it except the paycheck. And well, do you get tested all the time? And yes, we get tested all the time. But and I ended we wear up condoms getting and something. protection. Oh. I ended up getting something. What do you mean? You get tested a week before, and some people are irresponsible. Some and they people do things. are irresponsible. Yeah. That put a risk on me. I had no idea that this was going to happen in the beginning of our relationship. Did he give you an STD? Yes, he did. Oh, wow. oh, and why would you have unprotected sex with a woman you want to spend your life with? Why would you do that? Because everyone that why I you work with that should... risk? You could have told me in the beginning. It was we after you already knew. It was after you already knew. We you got the STD after you already knew. Before you ever even told me. And did you get if anything? I'm... No, you didn't. You got it but after you knew. it doesn't matter. I could have gotten something. A lover doesn't give a lover an worse. STD and say it's no big deal. It's a big deal. That's well, a not big if deal. it's not stuck with you, it's not. Well, that doesn't matter. That's something that I have to live with. No, you don't, because it's gone. You took a pill and it's gone. So, oh, no, you don't have oh, to. Oh, and are you it. willing to give up this lifestyle to spend your life I with Brooklyn? You to quit. I'm not doing it forever. But I'm not going to stop right now. You need to. No, it I'm not going to. Our relationship. I'm not going to. You're you gone. need to face the fact Every on why I do it, and you, you need to face the fact. You leave at least once a month. Yeah, once a month. You leave me at home. You for a couple days. For a couple days. Me. Brooklyn, man to woman, can she do a lot better? Do you think? Yes. You got a decision to make, honey. Deliver a message to Owen. Deliver him a message. I want you to quit. And I want you to quit today. I don't understand why. Because, because I'm not gay. I don't get satisfaction out of it care. besides it the paycheck. It is in our relationship. You gave her an STD because you weren't careful. And now you're saying, trust me, why she doesn't trust me. I was being careful. It was you a tested shoe. And you we wore condoms. Me. You told me you were a model. And then I come to find out that you do gay porn. You know how hard that is to randomly tell someone, hey, you know I just what? want you to I know I do gay porn. About my past. You told her in the shower, you two were nude in the shower, and you're telling her, I got to shave because I do gay porn. That's a big event. Women, don't forget that. I know it was a big, a big event. event. It was big gonna, for me, too. Are you going to walk down the aisle with him if he, if he doesn't if stop? If he does not stop, I'm not marrying you. That's it. Yeah. A well, lot I'm more sorry. coming up, yeah. including Sugar Daddy. Stay right there. You won't believe what she's doing for money. I love my lifestyle. I mean, it's great. And hubby wants her to stop today. You are lacking in the financial department. Oh, 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 Wait until you see us live. If you're going to be in the New York City area and want free tickets to see a taping of the show, go to our official website, BillCunninghamShow.com, or call toll-free 888-710-8425. Who are married took a vow to stick with our partners through good times and bad, through thick and thin. But what if the bad times include having sex with a sugar daddy? My next guest is worried about that. Please welcome Kevin to the show. Kevin, how you doing? How you doing, Bill? Hi, Kevin. Why are you here today? Bill, my wife has a bunch of sugar daddies. I mean, a bunch of them, like a bucket full of them. A bucket the of sugar daddies. I didn't lost count. Uh, Not just one, two. No, way beyond that. Um, what's I, a sugar daddy do you? What, what's a sugar daddy do? I, I don't know. I ain't never been no sugar daddy. I don't believe in it. <laughs> you know, I mean, you want to be a fool and give your money away to a woman uh, for whatever reason, then that's on you. But she I, says, your wife says there's no sex involved, right? 
I believe so. I believe so. You believe sex is involved? Yes. But she denies it. Well, didn't she take a lie detector test? Yes, she did. Well, we shall find out. <laughs> how many years? How many years have you been married? Five years. Five years, and it's been going on all five years. No. When did it begin? Oh, about a couple of years ago. Yeah. How can someone do this? Yeah. Bill, I mean, it's it's, it's disrespectful to themselves. When you're married. One, married or not, a woman shouldn't be putting herself out there. Period. Yeah. And you're especially concerned about one man named Michael. Right. Why are you concerned about Michael more than the other bucket of sugar daddies? Because we both know him personally. You know him? Yeah. But she, that's her friend. Yeah. Do you think, uh, you think your wife is sleeping with Michael? Yes, I do. But she denies it. <laughs> right? Oh, I, I, I think she is. But yeah. she took a lie detector. I'm, I'm on. We're going to find out. All right, please welcome Kevin's wife and maybe a sugar baby, Diane to the show. Diane, come on out. Hi, right, Diane. Tell me about your sugar daddies in general and about Michael in particular. Tell me about your lifestyle. I love my lifestyle. I mean, it's great. It's exciting. It's fun. I'm enjoying myself, and you knew from the beginning that I had sugar daddies. You agreed for me to do this because you were lacking in the financial department. Oh, 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 the only reason why I'm agreeing to this is because I love you and I don't want you mad at me. I don't want you, you agree to, to it? Me. Did you agree to it? With stipulations, Bill. Stipulations. With stipulations. stipulations. And no. you know what those Bull stipulations are? What? What? You knew you couldn't provide no. financially, and Diane, I could. I, I made I'm money. the breadwinner. No, you just no, being I'm greedy. the breadwinner. You, you just being greedy, and you want to use. Are you having sex with oh. these men? No, you having no. I'm not. No sex. No sex. No, no sex. We're gonna find out, cause I, I believe you and Michael got something going on a little more than what uh, you uh, pretend no, to be. No, we don't. If you would be a man, I wouldn't have to do anything that I'm doing. I'm working two jobs. I'm the one with the degree. I'm the one paying all the bills. What do you get from these guys? And what do they give you? Trips, money, cars. Why? What do you give them? He's been defending from the two. What do you give them? Hey, right, we married. I don't give them anything. You give them time. nothing. Just and you, how time, many sugar daddies you got? Over ten? I got ten, and I'm proud. You are damn lot. Do you believe these men give her all this stuff for no return, yeah. nothing at all? Yeah. No. Well, what? They can no. kiss it too. Uh, no. What do these guys do for you? What do they do? Everything. Wine and dine they, me, they, well, trips, trips, jewelry, jewelry cash, clothes, bills. cash, every. He gets it too. I didn't see you complaining when we went to Jamaica. Oh. Jamaica? Well, hey, I gotta get some of my. Hey, hey, Papa gotta get some of my over too, sis. So you don't make it play, seem like it's that. such of a big deal because you love no, it too. No, 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 no. You I, love Diane, it too. It's wrong. Today, it's gonna stop. It's not gonna stop. Hold up, Bill. Unless... Hold up, Bill. No, it's not gonna stop. Yellow flag, penalty on the field. It's not gonna stop. You're going to sit on the bench. You no, you're going to man. Oh, time out. You're going to sit on the bench. And if you ain't going to sit on the bench, and if this is what you want to do for money, you go right ahead, because I'm going to do like this. Let's do this. We have a very special sugar daddy coming up. Stay right there. Stay right there. Confession. I want to tell you. And confrontation you can't miss. It is sad. Yeah, it is sad that I have to do what I have to do because you're not providing financial. No, make that too. Hold up. Hold up. I asked you. I asked for everything for you. Love watching from your couch? Wait until you see us live. If you're going to be in the New York City area and want free tickets to see a taping of the show, go to our official website. Yeah. Today's all about rather unusual marriages. And Diane, I'm listening to this. I have a hard time believing 
that you're with all of these sugar daddies and getting only stimulating conversations and, and giving too. nothing in return. And so if you can sit back and your man, Kevin, I think you have a confession. And then we have somebody here. So, what? Diane, what do you have to say? To, hold on, Kevin. she got a confession. Yeah, what tell your man, tell your husband of some five years <laughs> something. Let's hear it. Well, I want to tell you. What? Is I slept with Michael. I knew it. Then yeah, what I tell you? You told me. You told me. You didn't even read the question off the lie detector. Tell me. I told you I had it. You told him. You did it. You know what? How many? You're done. You're finished. <laughs> you Kevin, we got what? Michael coming. Hold on, man. We got Michael here. Now, hold on. Oh, I got something to say to that All right. son of a boy. How? Now, you promised to stay in your seat. Oh, man. Now, are you in love with Kevin, but sleeping with Michael? Oh, yes, I'm definitely in love with Kevin. You're in love with this man. No, you I don't have no feelings for Michael. None? None. You have no feelings at all for no, Michael? No, I just want what he has. That's it. In fact, does Michael not even know you're married? I don't no, he doesn't. Think so. He does not know. Please welcome one of Diane's up. best sugar daddies, Michael, to the show. Michael, come on out. You took him to Jamaica with my money. You my personal him? lifestyle so, is not the You don't feel it. So, me. That's no, me. Not you not what you get. That's what you get. Watch it. 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 I didn't know he, How much she, money? She, she told me. You've you given, given her thousands and on. Thousands and on. Off and on. Off and on thing, off man. And on what? You know what I'm saying? You're like a disappearing like act. A disappearing, disappearing act, man. man. Are you Never. saying that what happens is you're wined and dined and pocket lined from that sugar daddy right there, mm -hmm. and you've admitted now to your husband to you're having sex with him? Happens almost every time. Almost every time, right, Michael? Every time. Uh, we had, I know we had sex that one time. I was kind of faded. One time. Yeah, I was kind That's of faded. It. After strip one time. club, after uh, strip club, you... a few drinks, you know, things got you know, a little wild. You know what? Y'all two deserve to be together. Yeah, you don't deserve it because you, you don't give her nothing. I'm done. All you do is Jill. take. All you do is take. Hey. Hey. That's all. You don't hey. need hey. hey. nothing. You don't need nothing. You don't lose it. You don't lose it. You're going to lose it. You're going to lose it. You know she has other sugar daddies besides Again, that was a first to me, too. You thought you were in love with a woman who's married. You didn't know she's married to no other sugar daddies. Nothing. She lied and played me. Wine ain't enough for me. Wine is not enough for me. Wine ain't enough for me. So, Michael, cars and phones and clothes and money, fancy food and fancy wine, you pay for everything. And you're That's okay with that? Oh, yeah, I'm okay with it. I bet. Thanks and I'm going to keep on doing it. You. Whether he likes it or not. Well, I won't you're be not providing, so it don't matter. Well, I'm you're finna provide. get it. You're on. done. You're I'm done. 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 Bill. Are you going to keep no. giving her money now that you know the facts? He might as well. He's been doing I, it I all like this time, Bill. Been with her. <laughs> you know? Let me, let, me, let me ask you a question, Bill. How would you feel if... Uh, your wife or girlfriend or whatever. How would I feel my wife honestly. was being financially supported by another man and he was having sex with her? I wouldn't feel good about that. I would not feel good about you that. You step your game up. Maybe step she, up your game maybe she up. wouldn't have me or no other ones. No. You step your game up, man. What it is is all you do is she sit around eating cereal all day, man. And me like She's a playing like a violin. Yeah. You, you thought you might have married her, right? This, you this, thought this, this situation is I making thought, me sick to my stomach. Because I'm about ready to slap you in here. You know what I'm saying? And that's the problem. Problem with you. That's the problem. Well, hey, like I said, player, like I said, you know what I'm saying? And what? Y'all two deserve each other. Maybe she'll go back to LA with me. You know what I'm saying? Maybe she'll go back to LA with me. Well, where you gonna go? Where you gonna go? I'm going. That's her house. That's her house. That's her house. That ain't yours. And do my thing. You know, we have a lot more coming up, including Diane's lie detector. Stay right there. A lot more coming up. I thought I was the only one, but she's a good liar, I guess. I guess she's a good liar. Can I believe this?
Love watching from your couch? Losing to quit. You don't like it, you can go. I don't have a gun held to your head. Really? I don't have a gun held to your head. What about your child? Okay. We can kill parents. You're walking away from your husband for sex with men for money. You know, if I had a dollar for every sex bombshell dropped on today's show, I could hang up my microphone and retire to Barbados. But guess what? Lots more coming up, including the lie detector test result right here. You can't wait for this one. Let's set it up. Because you said, originally you didn't have sex with anybody. And then you said, well, I did have sex only with Michael, not the other 10 or 12 or 15 or 20 sugar daddies. So we, got, we asked you two questions, honey. You ready? Oh, yes. Diane. Have you ever had sexual relations with any of your other sugar daddies besides Michael? You said no. That was a lie. See, Bill? I, I mean, it's your, in, your intuitions are accurate. Hey, well, I have a legitimate reason, a valid <laughs> dated reason to file for a divorce. I, I think you got proof right here if you want. Michael, how does it make you feel there's other sugar daddies dipping in that bucket of sugar daddies? <laughs> make me feel like I can't trust you. Like you, you can't trust her. She's married to this guy. I mean, yeah, just, just, we'll talk yeah, just all we'll this. we we'll so. just get together and, and do each other and have a break. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll, I'll go, go on that. <clears throat> yeah, we asked one more question. Number two. Are you ready, Kevin? We wanted to give her a little bit of an out. What, Since what you've is, been married to what, Kevin, uh, Diane. Have you exchanged sex for money with anyone else besides all your sugar daddies? You said no, and that was the truth. So she's not giving away to everybody, just her sugar daddies who are paying her. Does that make you feel better? No. No, it doesn't make you feel better. Would it make you feel better? No, it wouldn't make me feel good at all, Kevin. It wouldn't make me feel good. No, it's sad. Ladies and gentlemen, sad. it is sad. Yeah, it is sad that I have to do what I have to do because you're not providing financially. No, no. You should be it, out there what I make, working a nine-to-five job and providing for your family. Let's go to my audience. Stand up. Talk back with Bill. Go ahead. Um, my question is for James. Um, you knew what you did. When you married her, why did you expect her to change at all? Good question. I mean, at the end of the day, I thought, I mean, it, it would have an expiration date that she would, it was something that she would grow I'm up. I'm not doing it forever. Just grow up and basically focus on the family, focus on the marriage, and focus on our child. And like I, I said, all you. money's I'm not good money. And she just doesn't want to get a nine to five, that's all. Hey, and I see yeah, the like diamonds, me. the gold, the jewelry. What you do, you must do it very well. Very well. I provide yeah, for our family. Too well. and it's, it's Almost too well. And that's the thing. If she you wasn't... You can't blame me. I love what if, I do. If you basically, like My I said, I don't want to hear about your us. clients, what you do. And you're taking them to places that I've taken you to. You've taken them to restaurants. Who cares? You've taken them to, uh, like, hotel what rooms. What difference does he cares? Make? No, that's exactly. your man that and, you and pledged. And that's the problem. And like I said, and like I said, after today, I'm not I know doing I it behind do your back. I'm not lying to you. I'm just providing for the family. And it's just a couple years. If you love me enough, you can wait. Couple years. Me, that's he, not going to happen. It's not going to be a couple of years. It's not going to happen. All right, one more happen. question. Yes, sir. Go ahead. My question is for Owen. Um, if a dude has sex with another dude, that makes him gay. What you understand about that, man? There is a difference. There is a difference between sex and porn. There is an absolute difference. difference. Yeah, one is. It's still happening. It's not happening. I'm not making love to the guy. It is not any different. It is. Cohen, it's very you different. gave your future wife an STD, and you go away and have sex for money with men and want to marry a woman, and she's giving you the ultimatum. It ain't going to happen. Brooklyn has said to you, it's over. Now, do you accept gay porn, or do you take your wife, future wife? What, what is it? I'm just going to say that I'm going to take what I do because I need that money now. Now, if you wanted to wait until you my problems were over, that. then it'd be fine. You told me that you were a model. You did not tell me that you did gay porn. You lied to me. Well, when I told you, you didn't leave. Oh. You told your mom she that you did you not own. want me to leave. You decided to stick around after I already told you. Is that what you wanted? Is what what I wanted? Did you want me to leave when I when you told me that? Did I tell you to leave? 
So then Did what? I tell you to leave? Because if I told She's you to asking. leave, then I'd want you to leave. Do you want I this? did tell you to. Do you want to make this the mother of your children, yes or no? Yes, I do. Are you willing to accept those terms? I don't want him to do gay porn. Find anymore. some other way to make a living. A lot more coming up. Stay right there. <laughs> Love watching from your couch? Wait until you see us live. If you're going to be in the New York City area and want free tickets to see a taping of the show, go to our official website, BillCunninghamShow.com, or call toll-free 888-710-8425 for your chance to talk back with Bill. Do you work in the sex industry and your family hates it? We want to hear your story. Contact me at BillCunninghamShow.com. Call me. to handle relationships battered and bruised by scandalous sex secrets than relationship expert Mel Robbins. Woo! Mel Robbins, how you doing? Thank you. Let's begin with James in Hollywood because uh, this James is a special man. He's a business leader. He has his own business and he can't get his wife out of the industry of prostitution. Well, you know, first of all, it's really sad because what's clear is that you love your wife more than anything but the problem is and it's the exact same problem in every one of these relationships is that your wife loves her job more than she loves you it's really that simple and and the fact is like owen's not going to quit doing gay porn and you can call it pornography gay straight whatever the truth is you're addicted to it so you should We're pack your bags and leave now it doesn't it's a job. matter because because here's the thing in relationships what matter you got to follow your heart and what is so clear in every single one of these is that none of you we, like the, all the partners, so Brooklyn and Kevin and James, want to be with the person, but the people that you're with don't want to be with you. They love sex and they love their jobs more than they he love you. He wants to be sitting on the Period. couch eating bonbons no, it, every day. Like, you know what? Come it's on. A, but see, on. but listen. Come on. See, you're well, being. You did it before. Holly, yeah, but Holly, you don't. You look. You're not going to quit your job. It's clear. So now it's your turn to make a choice. Are you going to stay in a marriage with somebody who loves her job and loves if, being with other men? I'm going to be a single dad, I'm going to be a single dad. There you go. That's the that's 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 you know, they don't have well, no respect for listen, listen, one, listen, one of the things, things that I will say, though, but one of the things I will say is don't take a, do not follow the example of lying, but it's really powerful to understand that Owen and Holly and, I'm sorry, I forgot your name, Diane, love what they're doing. And they love their life. You their just shouldn't be their married. job is sexual you intimacy. Not be married. Their job. Yes. Owen, go ahead, Owen. Go ahead, Owen. There's a difference between what she does, what she does, and what I do. She enjoys having sex with all those men that she goes and has sex with. She enjoys making more money to have sex with her sugar daddies and lying. To her man. What I do is fake. Yeah, right. What I do is Same fake. Thing. I sit oh, on the yeah. side of oh, oh, yeah. the Yeah, but you that. stayed That's after true. I told you. You stayed Listen, after I told you. Hey, hey, what I do is fake. What I do is fake. Hollywood, what you do is fake, right? What you do is sex for money. If some guy with you, you two are the same, don't you see Hollywood? It's fake. You enjoy it. You like men. You like men and have sex with men. I don't like men. I think it's disgusting. I think you need to give me your pink shirt. I do. I really do. Well, so. What about your pink guy? Mel, he can take there are three peas in the same pod. They're yes. having intimate relations with members of the same or opposite sex for money. And yes. if money was not involved, Hollywood wouldn't do what she does. Not true. Owen wouldn't do not what true. he does. She loves the attention. She loves, but true. the money. If you got paid no money, would you still do it, Holly? No, no, <coughs> That's no, the no, money. No. It's all part I, of it. I total. I, I, and if somebody's taking her on trips and out to dinner and making her feel the way that she feels, which is powerful and, like and wanted and that. everything else, like it doesn't say. matter. She right. she's made her choice. You have to be man enough to make yours, okay. which means you. When we continue the bottom line for more info, go to the website BillCunninghamShow.com. Want to take a peek behind the cameras? Then follow me on Twitter. Like me on Facebook. Circle me on Google+. Or follow me on Instagram.
because you don't want to miss a minute of the backstage drama. It's unedited, unfiltered, and unbelievable. It's time for you to take control and give my guests some tough love. How would you resolve the issue? Should Brooklyn marry Owen if he refuses to leave the... <laughs> to those harboring a sex secret, here's the bottom line. Adults have the right to express sexuality in any way that is legal and is not harmful to others. But even if the sex act itself is not harmful, holding it back from a loved one may be. So put honesty before sexual gratification and you'll always come out on top. I want to thank all my guests for coming in and I'll see you the next time. Just call it what it is. They all clearly like what they're doing and they're making good money. It's the excitement, it's the attention, and it's the money. Yes, but if you're married to someone who tells you, I don't like what you're doing, it's affecting our marriage and I'd like you to stop. If you're not going to stop, then end your marriage. It's like any other problem. You have to work through it or eliminate it and I hope we have some good people on today that have big decisions to make over the next few months. I mean, James clearly loves his wife. Owen clearly does not get the fact that he's hurting his wife. In Brooklyn, not happy about that. It's sad. And, and Michael had to know he wasn't the only sugar daddy paying into yeah, that. Problem. I'm curious what will happen if we check back in three months and see if they're still working their you job. You know what? Their day job. I say everything stays the same. I bet you a hot fudge Sunday. Everything okay, stays the same. You're on.